Love Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Virgo. So you do have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Well, we'll see why you're reading this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we are going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your... Okay to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date how does virgo currently view this relationship okay all right so we got the four of wands we got the devil and then we also have the um eight of cups <laughs> okay hold on i feel like you're trying your hardest to stay away from someone yeah, I feel like you're trying your hardest, Virgo, to stay away from someone. For whatever reason, yeah. You know, you're definitely trying your hardest to stay away here from someone. I don't feel like you want to stay away from this person. I don't, but I have, I, I kind of feel like at the same exact time, you kind of have your reasons. You know what I mean? As to why you should, I guess, stay away from this person. It's weird. It's, it's a weird energy, Virgo, because again, it's like an overall energy of, I should really stay away from this person. But at the same exact time, I don't want to, but I really should. Like, it does kind of have that feel to it. How does this person currently view this relationship? Jesus Christ. We got the moon. We also have the Ten of Cups, and then we got the Knight of Wands. Somebody might have a Sag moon placement or a Pisces moon placement. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. A lot of you feel like, for whatever reason, you should stay away from this person. I don't know why though, Virgo. I don't know why you feel that way, but obviously you would know why you feel that way. But yeah, for whatever reason, like I said, Virgo, it's like you feel like you have to stay away from them, but at the same exact time, it's like you really don't want to. You know what I mean? But whoever this person is, man, like this is somebody who does have a lot of emotions for you. Uh, this is also somebody who has a very difficult time staying away from you. So this could even be somebody that you experience an ending with, Virgo. You know, this could possibly be an ex for all we know. It doesn't have to be, though. But let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. Okay. How does Virgo currently feel? <clears throat> we have the Hermit. We have the uh, Five of Wands. And then we got, I feel like you're forcing yourself at this point. I feel like you're forcing yourself to, you know, retract your energy from this person. I feel like you're forcing yourself to stay away from them. And it's not because you want to. It's because you feel like you kind of have to. You kind of have to. Why? Hold on. Let me look at the devil. Can I run with the devil? Okay, let's see what we got here. Doom, 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 doom. We got the Page of Pentacles. We got the Four of Cups. We got the Lovers. Interesting. With the Three of Cups. And then we also have the Two of Swords. I don't feel like you have history with this person. So I don't necessarily feel like this is one of those situations, Virgo, where, you know, you were once upon a time romantically involved with them and things kind of went south here between the two of you. No, I'm not getting that. To be completely honest, I feel like this is a fairly new person that we're talking about here. And like I said, the overall energy of you wanting to entertain this is definitely there. Okay, let's just throw that out there. It's definitely there. But at the same exact time, it's like you kind of have your reasons as to why you feel like you should stay, you should stay away from them. Um, you have your reasons as to why you feel like you shouldn't really pursue them or entertain, or entertain I'm sorry, this connection here um, with them. I just wish I knew what it was that's causing you to feel that way because I'm not getting exactly what it is that's causing you to feel like oh my god I gotta stay away from them you know um but you definitely have a reason you know as to why you're choosing to stay away from this person you do I also kind of get like an overall energy of you trying to avoid this person I'm also kind of getting that like an overall energy of you trying to avoid this person at all costs okay how does uh this person currently feel we have the queen of cups we got the tower and then we have the queen of wands i don't feel like this person was anticipating or expecting to feel this 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 strongly about you i don't feel like they were anticipating or expecting all of this to be honest i don't i 
I don't. It's kind of like the moment this person met you, they started to find themselves, you know, feeling, you know, a very strong and intense connection uh, towards you, Virgo. Because I am kind of getting like an overall energy of somebody who just wasn't anticipating or expecting to feel this strongly about you, but they do. But they definitely do. They definitely do. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. You know what? Let me look at this Knight of Wands energy. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. We got the Seven of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hierophant. Okay. The, this person could have recently experienced an ending here with someone. Or they could very well be going through a divorce process um, as we speak. Because I'm definitely kind of getting that. I'm definitely kind of getting that. Yeah, I'm definitely kind of getting that. That this person could very well be going through like a divorce process right now. Um, or they could have recently experienced an ending here between them and somebody that they were obviously once upon a time in a committed relationship with. Either which way, right? Either which way, it kind of looks like the moment this person met you was the moment that they found themselves, you know, feeling these in, these strong and intense emotions uh, toward you. Again, it kind of looks like they weren't anticipating or expecting you know to, to feel this way about you but they're definitely feeling this way about you and they can't help themselves at this damn point you know what i mean um all right let's keep going what actions will virgo take towards this person or moving forward so we do have the chariot we also have the um ten of cups and then we also have the ace of cups okay what actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward? We got the Five of Pentacles. We have the Strength card, and then we also have the Nine of Wands. I feel like this is them overpowering the reading towards the end. You are avoiding this person. Just saying, Virgo. You are definitely avoiding this person because there's something that's causing you to think and feel like you have to stay away from them like you really should try to avoid them at all costs at this point um so we do see this person overpowering you know the reading towards the end which i'm not surprised uh to be completely honest because it's pretty evident to me that you're not making any sort of move in their direction because it kind of looks like you feel and think that you have to stay away from them hence why you're not making a move in their direction but um i do see this person for the most part getting over this fear that they have when it comes down to approaching you and expressing to you, you know, how they feel about you and what they want, you know, out of this entire situation. You know, I feel like this person wants to pursue a relationship with you. I do. Um, but I feel like even though this person wants to pursue a relationship here with you, Virgo, they've been kind of keeping it to themselves, I almost want to say, uh, for quite some time, but it kind of looks like it's about to come out. It's about to come out and this person's going to, for the most part, you know, tell you how they feel and what they want here. It kind of looks like they want to get to know you. It kind of looks like they want to pursue a relationship with you. Um, so let's see how you respond and react to all of this. How is Virgo going to respond and react to all of this? Let's see. We have the Justice card. We got the Eight of Wands. We also have the Ten of Wands with the... Um, Ace of Wands, I don't know if I mentioned that. And then we also, come here, we also have the uh, Three of Wands. This is interesting. Because this is kind of like an overall energy of you basically feeling like you should really take this time, Virgo, to really focus on you and your career and, you know, things of that nature. It kind of looks like you just don't want this situation to distract you from what you actually want to focus on which is your career uh, manifesting something into fruition for yourself you know things of that nature you just don't want this entire situation to distract you from your goals and the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself i don't see how it would in my personal opinion i don't see how this entire situation is going to affect you in any way shape or form from you know 
pursuing whatever it is that you want to go off and pursue because I feel like there's something that you want to go off and pursue and honestly that could be anything I mean this could be something that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself Virgo that's definitely a possibility but I don't see why you can't do both I don't see why you can't do both you can continue to go off and pursue whatever it is that you currently find yourself pursuing and also take time to develop a relationship here with this person I feel like you need to master the art of balance in your life I do. I feel like that's what's missing here is is the lack of balance uh, in your life, Virgo, because in my eyes, you can totally do both. You can totally continue to pursue whatever it is that you currently find yourself pursuing, um, as well as taking time to develop a relationship here with this person. But a lot of you might feel like if you go off and entertain this person in particular, it's just going to distract you from what you should be focusing on. It's only going to distract you from what you should be focusing on if you allow it to. If you allow it to, then yeah, of course it will. But if you start creating the art of balance in your life, you'll see for yourself that you can totally do both. Uh, what should Virgo do? All right, so we do have the Nine of Cups. We also have the Knight of Cups with the Death card to the Two of Cups. And then we also have the Tower and then we have the Empress. Your whole thing is the timing. That's your whole thing. It's just the timing. It's just the timing. It's just the timing. You know, a lot of you just kind of wished, you know, that this entire situation would have happened at a much later date, to be completely honest. Um, but because it's happening so quickly and all of a sudden, um, and it just so happens to be happening during a time where you don't necessarily feel like you're ready for all of that, you know, it is kind of causing you to kind of feel like, uh Maybe this is not a good idea, right? To go off and pursue a relationship here with this one. Um, here's what I will say, Virgo. If you do decide, right, to go off and pursue a relationship here with this person, just be mindful that you're dealing with somebody of your caliber. That is very important, okay? You're dealing with somebody of your caliber. The person that sits in the chariot is the emperor. You're coming across as an empress, this is somebody of your caliber. Like, this is basically somebody that you can grow and evolve with and establish a life with, you know? You guys, for the most part, are very compatible on top of that to one another. But nonetheless, you know, you're not... You're not taking time out of your day to, to pursue a king of wands or a freaking page or anything like that. Like, you're taking time out of your day to pursue an emperor. You know what I mean? Like somebody of your caliber. Like this is somebody who brings as much to the table as you do. Just saying. I mean, this is definitely something worth pursuing. I mean, that's one thing that I will say. And I kind of feel like you're going to be extremely happy, you know, if you were to go off and pursue a relationship here with this person. Because again, it's you're not dealing with a page here. You're not dealing with a page. You're not dealing with a king of wands or a king of swords. You're dealing with an emperor. Somebody of your caliber for crying out loud. You know how hard it is to find an empress? You know how hard it is to find an emperor? And the reason why it's hard is because most of the time, nine times out of ten, these people are actually married. Now, you don't strike me as somebody who's married. They don't strike me as somebody who's married. But this is why it's so hard to come into contact with an empress or even an emperor because these people are hard to find because most of the time, they're married. They're married and already cooped up with somebody already. You know what I mean? So this is a really good opportunity, technically speaking, that's presenting itself to you. You're not dealing with a king of wands or a king of swords or a freaking page or... No, you're not dealing with that. You're dealing with an emperor. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying, Virgo. Just something to think about, you know? All right, so we have the moon. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Nine of Wands. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Look, the Emperor. The Emperor. Yeah. If I were you, if I were you, I would definitely entertain this right here. This is something worth pursuing. Like, if you were dealing with, like, a king of wands or, like, a king of swords or, hell, even a page, I would have been like, yeah, Virgo, you might as well just continue to remain on the path that you're currently on, okay? This is not even worth your time and or investment. But, come on. It's an emperor. How can you say no? You know what I mean? How can you say no? 
Uh, with the moon to the Ten of Pentacles, uh, to the Nine of Wands attached to um, the Emperor, one thing that I will say about this individual in particular is that they do kind of strike me as somebody who's extremely shy. Extremely shy. Like the fact that this person, where was it? Okay, hold on. Let me get my cards together. The fact that this person is actually approaching you is something that they don't typically do. It's something that they don't typically do. Mm -mm. No. It's something that they don't typically do, which is kind of making me feel like this person is extremely, um, extremely shy. Extremely shy. So the fact that they're approaching you is not something that they typically do. They don't typically approach women. They don't typically approach men they allow them to come to them but the fact that you're kind of technically speaking forcing them to come to you that's out of that's out of this person's character to even do something like that that just goes to show how much this this one over here wants you just saying just saying because this is so out of their character to do something like this i can tell that it is i can tell that it is i mean look how uncomfortable <laughs> this person is like Look at how uncomfortable they are. Like, this is so out of their character to, like, I don't know, go out their way to approach somebody. Because, again, they do kind of come off to me as somebody who's extremely shy. Like, this is not that type of man that's going to sit here and approach another man or a woman. Whatever they like. I don't know, right? Um, that's just not their, their style. Like, that's just not what they do. So, the fact that they're approaching you i mean just goes to show how much they actually want you you know on the surface i feel like this person does kind of come off as somebody who's straight who's extremely confident within themselves but they're definitely not they're definitely not they're definitely not but i feel like they're going to portray this image to you like they're confident and blah 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 but no they're not they're extremely freaking shy extremely freaking shy so the fact that they're approaching you is kind of shocking to be completely honest it is it is i mean it is but i don't know i don't know do you like shy humans or do you not like shy humans because if you don't like shy humans then this one ain't the one for you but some people think that that stuff is cute you know maybe you might find it to be extremely cute you know maybe the day this person decides to approach you they're they're sweating you know profusely but hey you know at least they're approaching you but this is something worth pursuing virgo it's somebody of your caliber just saying it is somebody of your caliber I mean, like I said, an emperor is uh, very freaking hard to find because they're normally already cooped up somewhere. Somebody already snatched them off the market. Somebody wasted no time to snatch, you know, any emperor off the market. Just the same thing for an empress. It's like people don't waste time to snatch an empress off the freaking market. People just don't waste time. They act upon it, you know, very quickly because they know that it's very hard to find. An emperor just like it's very hard to find an empress so the fact that you guys are actually finding one another and it just so happens to be somebody of your caliber I mean shit I mean I don't know it's a win-win situation in my book um, all right what else <clears throat> let's see what else we have the queen of swords we got the two of swords we got the here you go with the same old thing all over again. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I really should be focusing on my career and this down the third. You could do both. Don't sell your, yourself short, Virgo. You can do both, dude. You can do both, you know? But I feel like a lot of you fear that if you were to entertain this, it's just going to distract you from what you should be focusing on. And I feel like the only reason why you more than likely feel that way is because you were probably connecting with someone in the past um, that caused you to basically feel like you were losing sight of the things that you should have been focusing on. But at the same exact time, Virgo, I'm gonna be real with you, I feel like you kind of put this one over here up on a pedestal to the point where you willingly decided, right, to put them on a pedestal, to make them your main focus slash priority. It's not, it's not technically speaking their fault, you know, but I'm just saying, you know. Um, this is one of those situations, Virgo, like I said, where you just need to establish the art of balance in your life. Balance, right? Between your relationship with this person and the things that you want to go off and do with your life. 
right? Your growth, your expansion, the things that you want to manifest into, you know, fruition for yourself. You can do both. You're fully capable of doing both. And I feel like this connection more than likely is going to teach you that you can do both. You're fully capable of doing both. See, this relationship is only going to create a distraction for you if you allow it to. Because it kind of looks like in the past, you've allowed people to come into your life and distract you from what you should be focusing on. You have. You definitely have. And for some of you, you could have been dealing with energy vampires. That's definitely a possibility as well. But you can do both. And like I said, you're not dealing with no king of wands, king of swords here, or a freaking page. You're dealing with an emperor, honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's that's nice. That that's that's really, really nice. That is really, really nice. Uh this person might hmm. This person might even own their own business or they run a business or they have like a really really good career or they have a really really good career but this is somebody who's established you know like yourself you know it like I said it's somebody of your caliber this is not going to be somebody that you're going to have to turn around and take care of you know this is somebody who can turn around and take care of you you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying you know not not saying that you need somebody to take care of you I mean you're a Virgo you're very independent um not saying that you need somebody to take care of you, but Jesus Christ, like this is somebody who's fully capable of taking care of you. Just saying, you know, I, I wouldn't let this opportunity, you know, pass you by. Because like I said, it is very rare to come into contact with an emperor, just like it's very rare to come into contact with an empress. So the fact that we have an emperor and an empress finding one another... Yeah, that's pretty damn rare. It's pretty damn rare. It's pretty freaking rare, to be completely honest. But yeah, Virgo, if I were you, I wouldn't let this opportunity pass you by. I wouldn't let you, I, I really wouldn't let it pass you by. I really wouldn't, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.